हाँ ये प्रभांग वेलकम टू ज्ञान क्लाउड गैरेज इन दिस क्विक पाइट आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट क्री हाउ टू वी कैन क्रिएट अ वर्चुअल मशीन एंड इंस्टॉल द विंडोज 2022 गेस्ट वॉइस so first we can verify the how we can create virtual machine in vmware workstation 16 16 pro and download the windows 2022 iso from microsoft website and we can install the guest operating system and finally we can install your vmware tools okay let me log into the our jump host okay when we open a vmware workstation in our home page we have three options but to create a virtual machine just choose the option for create a new virtual machine option and now we have a typical and custom in general typically it's nothing but a, it's a default based on the operating system it will choose the cpu memory disk and nic by default and the custom only we have a option to customize so better to choose the advanced custom advanced option click on next now the hardware compatibility it supported for uh, starting from workstation 5.x and until the 16.2x so i am choosing the latest version and it is compatible for compatible products and also the limitations the maximum memory we can assign 128 gb and 32 pros uh, 10 network adapters this is the limitations for this workstation 16.2 okay now click on next and the guest operating system installation we have three options to install we can mount the iso and install or mount the iso file or you can mount the cd or i will install the operating system later for the time being first we will create a virtual machine so i choose the third option click on next and we have a multiple flavors to install the guest operating systems we can install windows flavor see these are all the supported windows flavors now i am selecting a windows 2022 just in case if we didn't find the 2022 we can choose the most uh, most recent latest version which is windows server 2019 and 2019 is still supported to install the windows server 2022 and the same way suppose in future if you plan to install the linux these are all the supported linux linux versions red hat enterprise linux uzi linux and other linux and same way if you want to practice the vmware esx edition in your home lab we can choose vmware esx and choose the esx7 and other maybe the other flavor of os like uh, solaris netware free bsd and other flavors okay now i am going to choose the windows server and windows server is 2019 but the iso where i'm going to mount the windows server 2022 now click on next and the default virtual machine name is it showing as windows server 2019 we can choose any of the name for example i'm going to configure as ad so let's choose the name as ad01 and the default path c drive users administrator documents virtual machine folder if you want to choose the same location we can choose or you can click on browse and we can modify the location also okay now click on next and the firmware update bios and uefe so better to choose the default option of firmware type and the number of process two processes so cpu two cpu is fine for the active directory configuration and the memory is a default 2 gb okay let's leave it the default memory click on next and the network type we can choose any of the network types and let's choose the default option click on next and select io control type also default recommend option lsa logic sas click on next and the virtual disk type we can choose the nvme it is a recommended one now click on next and create a new virtual disk so for the new virtual disk I always recommend to choose as a single file only and the recommend default it choose as a 60 gb okay let's leave it the default size click on next and the virtual machine disk file is always vm name dot vmdk so vm name is ad01.vmdk click on next and this is ready to complete to create a virtual machine we have selected the cpu memory disk and nic now click on finish when you click on finish see you can see the virtual machine is created the virtual machine name is ad01 you can find all the virtual device information and virtualization is nothing but a it is a technology it allows you to transform hardware into software whatever we have in our hardware components major components like cpu memory disk and nic 
all these components are virtualized so when we create a virtual machine virtual machine is nothing but a software generated machine and it have all the virtual hardware components which includes all these virtual hardware components memory 2gb and cpu processors are two processors we also call it as vcpu and hard disk is 60gb and cd dvds auto detect network adapter usb controller sound card printer and display okay this is all the default one now if you want to install a guest operating system you can just click on cd dvd option or we have an option to edit the virtual machine setting you can use either edit virtual machine setting option or you can directly click on cd dvd when you click on cd dvd also it will directly redirected to the virtual machine settings wizard and here you can mount either a physical cd or you can mount a iso file so now click on next in our uh, local system i already downloaded the windows server 2022 windows server 2022 it will be available from microsoft website we can download the evolution version normally evolution period is six months or 180 days so you can use evaluation period in your home lab now click on ok so iso file is mounted once we power on it will start installing the windows server 2022 so press any key to boot from cd cd means our iso file only so it start loading from the our windows server 2022 iso file it may take a while okay so now language is default we can use and the location and timing we can use the default one or later also we can modify this all the settings okay and now click on next and install now So we have a windows server 2022 standard evolution and desktop experience normally standard evolution is a command line interface so desktop experience is a graphical user interface and the data center evaluation also command line and desktop experience is a graphical user interface and only difference between standard and data center is standard is normally if you buy a license for standard edition it's supported for only one guest operating system but if you have a data center evaluation one additional feature is if you configure a hyper-v feature in data center edition it will be allowing you to create a n number of virtual machine all the virtual uh, hyper-v virtual machine license is free of cost when you buy a data center license okay so now i am selecting a standard evolution now click on next and license agreement accept click on next and this the first option is upgrade just in case if you have windows server 2019 os in your or environment if you plan to upgrade from 2019 to 2022 you can use the first option for fresh installation the recommend option is install okay and the next wizard is saying about the partition so the currently we allocated disk space is 60 gb the entire 60 gb i'm going to give for a c track suppose if you want to prepare a partition also we can create a partition here but generally the recommendation is each drive will prepare a one disk suppose in future if you want to create a data drive you can add a additional disk to this virtual machine okay so now i'm selecting a 60 gb click on next it started installing the all the guest operating system into the our c track so it may take a uh, few minutes to finish this installation. In the meantime, we'll just observe where this virtual machine is created. If I select the VM, it is default showing as it is created on a C drive users virtual machines documents location. So document location, we can verify that what is our default virtual machine files. So when I open a virtual machine folder, our VM name is means AD01. It created one folder or we call it as virtual machine directory. When we open AD01, you can find the, all the default virtual machine files. One of the main file for the virtual machine is virtual machine configuration file. If you want to see the all the extensions, uh, let me click on the virtual machine edit settings or else 
control then we go to the control planner file and explore options and view you can just select the hide extension file types apply ok when you click on this you will see the file extensions see now ad01.vmx vmx means virtual machine configuration file and this is disk icon virtual machine name dot vmdk that means virtual machine disk file and st means snapshot metadata file and we also have a lock file along with there is a nvram file these four are the main important files and the remaining pre-configuration. This is a VMware team member and a scoreboard file. These are all the temporary files and the lock files. But the main key files are VMX, VMDK, and VRAM lock file. And normally VMSD is always a zero KB only. It will be coming to picture when we create a snapshot. This VMSD sizing start increasing. Okay, so the main key concept for the virtual machine files are only VMX configuration file and disk file. It consists of virtual machine data and NVRAM file is nothing but a BIOS file and VMware.log that is nothing but a virtual machine log file. So let me close this and see the installation is still in progress. And the percentage 42%. Once it is finished, we have to it will restart automatically once it's completely boot up, this virtual machine guest operating system will not have a, any of the device drivers. So to install the virtual machine device drivers, we call it as a VMware tools. So that VMware tools, once the installation is finished, I will show you right click the virtual machine to install the VMware tools, right click the VM, there is an option to install VMware tools. Okay, so this option also we can observe once the guest voice installation is completed. Okay. In the meantime, I will show you the another ESX VM creation. Suppose if you want to practice the ESX installation on a workstation VM, same procedure, same like our Windows VM. Choose the custom option and six uh, default options. Install the operating system later, and we can choose the relevant option is VMware ESX, and we can choose the version also ESX 7 and later. Now click on next and the version name here if you want to modify the names you can modify let's say esxi01 i'm using the name as esxi01 because it's a first esx click on next and two cpu and the memory default it's selected as 4 gb or if you want to increase to 16 gb also you can increase click on next and the network settings default we can use. Later we can modify the network settings. Click on next. And the disk type also SCSI, small computer system interface. Click on next. And the new virtual disk. And the default size it is showing as 142 GB. And generally uh, 40 GB or 60 GB is enough to install a guest operating system of ESX operating system. So now click on next and see the VM file, even our ESX virtual machine name dot VMDK, virtual machine disk file. Click on next, click on finish. So second VM also created. So when we select AD01, see the VM is OS installation is completed. Its reboot is in progress. So it is getting ready. Okay, now once it is boot up, we have to assign the administrator password. Okay. 
okay so now it's completed let's select send control or delete and log into the default administrator is administrator only once login if you see the display screen of windows virtual machine the screen is small because the keyboard and the virtual device drivers are not installed so to install the recommendation is so right click the virtual machine and install vmware tools when we select the install vmware tools just open the guest operating system guest operating system vmware tools are mounted so you can just double click here it will start the installation process minimize the vmware tool installation is in progress and let's observe once the installation is completed the display drivers and screen will be enhanced automatically click on next and we have typical complete and custom generally typical is the recommended option complete means all the necessary all virtual drivers will be installed this option is generally not recommended and even custom is like if you want to exclude any specific drivers you can go for a custom and not most of these scenarios will go with a default option typical click on next and install Even in the right side, you can see Windows Server 2022 standard evaluation and Windows licenses for 180 days. See, display drivers are increased. And even though if you see the screen is completely enhanced, now click on finish, it requires a restart. So just give a quick restart. So that's it. Let's back to the slide. Okay, so we verified how to create a virtual machine in VMware Workstation 16 Pro and the ISO file I already downloaded from Microsoft website and we installed the guest operating system Windows Server 2022 and we observed how to install VMware tools on a Windows Server 2022. Okay, so thank you. Please do view, like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Thank you. See you next time.